So cordage is one of mankind's most underappreciated and overlooked technological advancements. Cordage is literally what held civilization together for thousands of years. The idea is to get as much of the bark under the water as possible. We have to give it sufficient time for the water to really work its way underneath the bark and into the bark. You'll see a common thread in most of these survival skills. Nothing happens fast out here, so there's a life lesson in that. And the woods has always kind of been my church, and it's always really taught me lessons like that about patience, about having forethought. So this is yucca. We're going to make rope out of these leaves. And what I'm going to do is gently tap And you can see how the fibers are starting to become exposed. So I'm just gonna give these a quick soaking like this, get them wet. When you wet these fibers, it, it makes them more pliable. So the process, I'll just build a little tension up and then I'm gonna lock it in my teeth and I'm gonna maintain that twist and I'm gonna pass one hand over the other. And that's the outcome. This is probably one of humans oldest and, and first ways to make rope is it would probably be a very simple twist. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in with another piece of cord and I'm just gonna lay it alongside the other piece and twist it together and then continue. And so in this way, we just keep going and keep splicing and we can make it as long as we desire. Okay, we've had our poplar bark soaking for a bit. So now I'm gonna go ahead and bring it up out of the water. I want to keep these things as long as possible. Unlike the yucca, where we're limited to the length of the leaf itself, with this poplar bark, it gives us the ability to get a much longer piece without all of that extra work. And so then we'll come back to the water, kind of wet that down a bit. Now to separate the outer bark, which is this coarse bark from the inner bark, I'm just going to make a really light incision. What I'll do is I'll put my foot on one end, and we can get fairly good pieces like that. And you'll see that the technique that we used with the yucca is equally useful with this material. And you see the end result is the same. We have a usable cord that can be lashed, very strong, very pliable. This is not as strong as yucca. It's not going to be as strong. But it is more prevalent, and it's a lot faster to work with. But that's cord. Alone at last. It's scary out here in these woods. My stomach is in knots.